Greetings, Aries. Come on in here for your reading for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. Welcome to your reading where we will explore the wisdom of the tarot with intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I'm Tiffany. Come on in here. Welcome. And we are going to get started. But first, I'm going to bless my decks of cards Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. Let's get started. Aries, how are you doing? What has your past week been like? Drop comments below. Let me know what's resonating with you in this video i appreciate you engaging with me let's see what spirit has for you for our amazing aries what do we have for aries divine spirit What do we have on the bottom of the deck? Amazing. On the bottom of the deck, you have the strength card. The bottom card is normally the shadow card. And the shadow cards can be either your hopes or your fears. We'll get back to this. This deck is the Illuminati Tarot, if you are wondering. All right, for Aries, for the week of February 25th through March 2nd, we have Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords, and Five of Cups, Aries. All right, so let's start here. Seven of Pentacles. You are looking at your labor, which you've been working on for quite some time now. You're reflecting on it. You're actually assessing should you continue to move forward with this, what you're working on that has to do, it could be actually at your job or in your business, as well as in your finances, whatever plan you've been working at. You might be feeling a little uh, indifferent because you're not seeing growth fast enough or movement fast enough let's see what else spirit has to say concerning that so king of swords we know that <laughs> this this is a fine king the king of swords kings symbolize um kings symbolize authority and leadership so what I'm getting for you, Aries, is to take control and authority over your thoughts and your mental well-being. And it looks like regarding what it is you're working on, regarding either your job or your finances specifically, don't let your thoughts run away from you because we can totally mind bleep ourselves out of out of doing something or getting something done or sticking to something so right here it looks like you're considering whether you should keep going is it worth it and king of swords is here to remind you don't mind bleep yourself take control take leadership and authority over your thoughts let you control your thoughts your thoughts don't control you and then we have five of cups all right, I'm definitely feeling like you're not, you're, you're uncertain. You're a bit uncertain because this Five of Cups is telling me that you have some sort of mental conflict over what it is you have been doing because you wanted to move it, you wanted to move at the speed of lightning and that's not how everything works. So you're feeling conflict in your thoughts as to whether you should continue with this thing, continue the path and the plan that you had started to execute. And I feel like you're worrying yourself way more than even necessary, if you will. And then looking at your shadow card, the card that came up in the shadow position, strength, 
Shadow cards are your hopes or your fears. So you are fearing that you're just not strong enough to see this through. And you absolutely are. You have authority over your thoughts. You think you can't see it through. Your mind is messing with you. Certain th other items or other situations in your life that really don't have much to do with this, what you're working on in your finance, in your business, in your career, they're spilling over into this. And so you're losing control over your thoughts. You are conflicted over what you think about this. And you fear that you don't have the strength or the fortitude to continue forward with it. I say, to all that no 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 that is not the case let's get some more clarity that I just I don't feel like this is the end I'm not feeling anything for you to move away from what you've worked so diligently at so let's get some more clarity. Divine Spirit, clarify for our beautiful Aries, please. Okay, they're coming out. They're coming out either way. Didn't want that many, but we got that many. All right, the star. Okay, the fool and the king of cups. You want to know that you are still headed in the right direction with this, right? <clears throat> I want you to renew your strength, renew your hope in what you've been working out and let the fruits of your labor play out. Yes, you do feel like you want to start something new. You might, and to this I say, to for the fool to show up here now with this situation going on, I say you might tweak something. You might um, say, okay, this part of the process isn't going as well as I expected, so let me tweak that. But do not start the whole thing over. Do not trash this. Do not begin from scratch. Tweak what you need to to get it to where you are feeling more encouraged by what you're seeing. And then you have the King of Cups showing up here for you today. Again, Aries, two kings. That is a lot of authority. That is a lot of leadership. Um, You are... King of Cups is telling me that while you are mastering your thoughts, do not forget to master your emotions. Continue to build that emotional intelligence that has gotten you this far in the process of what you've been doing, what you've been working at. Con this King of Cups is telling me, <clears throat> excuse me. The relationships that you've built along the way are important. Listen to your intuition more than you listen to your thoughts, right? Listen to your intuition more than you listen to your thoughts. Find a balance, a healthy balance between your emotions and your thoughts that will get you to a place of feeling more confident about what you've been up to, what you're doing, what you are pushing forward to see succeed. Again, you might tweak it a little, but do not scrap this. Do not. Let's go ahead and pull um, one card from the Shaman's Dream Oracle for you, Aries. Let's see if we can get <clears throat> an overall theme and clarifier for you with this Oracle card, Divine Spirit. Give us a single Oracle card for our amazing Aries. Okay, that wasn't going to work, was it? 
this deck this deck is fun that's all i'm gonna say about that let's let's just go ahead and do a shuffle this deck is sturdy i've had it for quite some time and it has not loosened up one bit single card for aries divine spirit give us the overall clarifier and theme for their week february 25th through march 2nd stars in the sky limitless possibility limitless possibility aries and this is 51 in the shaman's dream oracle and we know if we add five plus one we get six you are going to have cooperation from the universe there's limited limitless possibility in what you are trying to do what you are trying to achieve do not give up now tweak it a little bit don't go too far with the tweaking that you have a whole new plan that's not what divine spirit is telling you but your possibilities are absolutely endless keep going aries let me pull one more card for you let's pull you a card from the spirit animal oracle what spirit animal will aries embody this week divine spirit One card for Aries, please. Is that one? That's one. All right. Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Aries, Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide you will have a renewed strength you will have a renewed sense of hope in this process it seems a little out of sorts for you right now but believe me when i tell you that the universe is looking out for you the abundant universe will provide for you, Aries. Do not doubt that. Do not forget that as you go through your week. A renewed sense of hope, a renewed sense of strength. It is yours for the taking. Believe it when you see it. All right, Aries. I thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonates with you and you found something useful to carry you through your week. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I have for you. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.